Now in direct mapping, if you observe how the physical address is divided, um, we could observe this point. So physical address is actually divided like this. One is block offset, right? And other is block number. And now uh, let us say this block number is um, this block number consists of small m bits. Then what can you say about the number of blocks? The number of blocks equal to 2 power m, right? And then the least significant uh, some bits, let us say l bits are used to represent the line number, line number in the cache, isn't it? Therefore, what can you say about the number of lines? Number of lines equal to 2 power l, isn't it? Now, now if you observe it, uh, we have a m bit number which is a block number, right? Every block is represented as m bit number. I'm talking about the block number, not the address, right? So only this part. Every block is represented as an m bit number. Now in this m bit number, right? I'm taking the least significant l bits, right? And this least significant l bits is giving me the um, you know, uh, block number, this uh, line number, right? Then what we could say is, if this m bits is representing some number x, right? And this, uh, then the least significant l bits is nothing but the remainder. Okay, if you remember that, uh, you know, computer networks also I discussed about it and TOC also I discussed about it. So whenever we divide any m bit number with 2 power l, then the remainder is nothing but the least significant l bits. Isn't it? So whenever you divide any m bit number with the 2 power l, then the least significant bits, least significant l bits are nothing but the remainder, right? So if x is the block number, right? And if the number of lines is 2 power l, then the line number in which this block will be present is x mod 2 power l, which means you take the uh, you know number block uh, this uh, main memory block number and then you divide it with 2 power l and whatever remainder you get that is nothing but the line number right therefore from now on in order to find out where a block is present you can directly find out the modulus for example if i say the number of blocks i have is 4 right and uh, you know where are you going to place the 100 uh, hundred uh, main memory block then how can you find out take hundred and take hundred mod four right then what do you get zero right it means that uh, this uh, hundredth block will be present in the zeroth line of the cache so what does it mean so simply put if you give me any x block so x block of main memory where is it present in caches you have to take x mod 2 power l where 2 power l is the number of blocks right so number of number of lines in the cache so this one will give you the line number in which line number in which you could probably place this x or if you know if it is present in the cache it will be present in this line number that is how you could split it I hope you are getting it. What I am trying to say is, whenever any main, you know, main memory block number is given, you try to find out the remainder when divided with the number of block, number of lines in the cache, and then that is that remainder is going to be the line number in which the required uh, block is present. Okay, fine. So then answer this question. Let us say the block requests. I am talking about the block references. I am not talking about the addresses. So let us assume that there is a cache whose size is 4, 4 lines, which means I am talking about this. Let us assume that I have only 4 lines in the cache. So 0 line, 1 line, 2 line, 3. So 0, 1, 2, 3 are the lines present in the cache. And then I have lots of, uh, you know, uh, blocks in the main memory. Okay. Now what, I, what is that I am trying to do is. I'll try to generate all the block requests, which means the CPU is generating the block requests. These are the block numbers of the main memory. Then I have to find, I have to say, uh, according to the direct mapping, where will they be present? So let us say the CPU is generating the block request like this. 5, 6, 4, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14, 
something like this 15 20 if these are the block requests okay and this is the uh, you know um, uh, lines in the cache then where are you going to place them and uh, what uh, what is the miss rate which means how many are going to be missed and how many are going to be hit so initially five where are you going to place five so how do you find it take the block number and then you divide it with the required uh, you know the size of the uh, this number of lines in the cache then you are going to get the line number in which you have to place it now 5 mod 4 is 1 therefore 5 will be present here right and 6 mod uh, 4 is 2 therefore 6 will be kept here and what about 4 4 mod 4 is 0 which means 4 will be here what about 8 8 mod uh, 4 is actually you know uh, conflict with this why 8 mod 4 is 0 and already something is present in 0 therefore it is going to be replaced and 8 is going to be kept there right now 8 is present in 0 right and now 9 9 mod 4 so 9 mod 4 is 1 so it has to be placed here right 9 and 12 12 mod 4 is 0 therefore 0 so are you observing it so even though I have an empty space, I'm still replacing this, isn't it? This space is not at used till now. Are observing it? So this is called as this problem is called as conflict miss. The actual reason is not the you know non-availability of space. I have a free slot, I have a free line. I could have used it, but then direct mapping says that even though you have a available free space you are always supposed to map to only one location because of that point you know the, that is the disadvantage of this direct mapping okay now uh, what about 15 where are you going okay what about 12 12 has to be placed here itself right and what about 15 so 15 has to be placed in 3 what about 20 20 has to be placed in 0 got it so now uh, if you observe it uh, we, even though we have got uh, plenty of space available here for a long time only this one was highly used heavily used isn't it i'll tell you a worst case scenario worst case scenario inputs will be like this let us say i have uh, four uh, yeah, four lines zero line one line two line three line and let us say we have uh, the uh, blocks like this the block main memory block requests are like this so four eight and again 12 again 16 I, I hope that you understood why i'm writing these numbers right huh. now where will this one go 4 mod 4 is 0 which means 4 will go, get in here 8 mod 4 is 0 which means 8 will get in here even though we have plenty of space available you know it is never going to use that why because we have the restriction that every block has to be mapped to only one block it is a many to one mapping direct mapping is many to one mapping right it makes things simple but then sometimes it complicates it if you need something like this right then what about it 12 again 12 will be kept here only right and 16 16 will be kept here only see this all these are empty vacant but still we are not using them we are just using one slot right and what about 4 again this one will be emptied what about it emptied what about this again replace it what about this replace it right worst case input isn't it so that is the disadvantage of direct mapping why do you think that we have come across this disadvantage because uh, we have restricted the main memory blocks in such a way that they are supposed to occupy only one uh, one uh, cache line so in order to solve this disadvantage this is called as conflict miss this scenario is called as conflict miss right so conflict miss is different from capacity miss so capacity misses in case if you don't have the capacity then if you come across a miss that is called capacity miss but conflict misses even though when you have uh, lots of other space you are not going to use that space you are replacing a page which will be a miss later right and this miss is going to be see if this four would have been there it would have been useful later right now this miss was because of the conflict not because of the capacity right so Conflict miss is the disadvantage of this, uh, you know, direct mapping. What about capacity miss? In case if the entire, uh, all the blocks are full, all the lines are full, then if you replace a page which is going to cause a miss later, that is called as capacity miss. We have replaced a page because we don't have the capacity to store it. Then that is fine. At least that is that looks better, isn't it? 
now in order to solve this problem we will remove that restriction what is the restriction that a particular block of main memory has to get into only particular uh, line of the cache now if i remove that restriction and i say that any block in the main memory can go to any line in the cache then this is a different scenario now what happens any block in the main memory can get into any block of the cache that is called as associative mapping so we shall see about associative mapping now okay Hi, if you are planning to do masters, then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in India. I will give you all the reasons. So, first reason is, out of 1 lakh students who take GATE every year, there are only 500 seats in old IITs. So, all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And IITs, universities better than IITs, they have very good acceptance rate like 30%, 40%. But all the IITs put together have an acceptance rate of 0.5%. And if you are working hard to get into IIT Bombay, IIT Bombay's ranking is 177 and IIT Roorkee's ranking is 400. If you are happy to get into IIT Roorkee, then getting into universities better than IIT Roorkee is easier compared to getting into IIT Roorkee. And looking at the salaries for computer science, of, uh, for software jobs, if you have done your master's in computer science in US, the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year. So even if you take an average of 1 crore per year, your savings will be much higher than the salaries in India. After taxes and your cost of living, you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year. And in India, the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs. So your savings will be much greater than the salaries in India and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then LOR guidance and GRE and English test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which, which means without any security now you can get education loan Getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee, the amount of uh, fee that you have, you have a range of uh, universities. You can apply for 10 lakh universities, 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities. But whatever it is, you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you, getting a, after you get a job. And then we do visa assistance, mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni. So now you might ask why we should join Game of Visas. So the answer is we have 90% success rate, 99% success rate. And these are all the destinations that we guide the students to. So we guide students to any country that you want to go. So now it is not just USA. We guide to UK, Germany, Australia, Canada. So we guide, we guide students to all the countries. We work with all the destinations. And if you are interested, in going abroad, you have to just drop us a message on this WhatsApp number 9494 555 454. Okay, thank you.